Uh, during this run, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time Don't optimizing tell. things. No one bothered to show you the standard procedure for lectures? I think it's more fun if we just like get into the action quickly. Uh, yeah, instruct. Let's go ahead and teach some kids. All right, Lysithia. I want you to be good at... Oh, wait. You have the, the three-star symbol here. Yeah, sure. Why not? From what I remember, if you have a three-star symbol, then uh, if you teach them enough, they can become really good at it. Once you get to third star. And they learn a special ability. So I think you always want to complete the three-star things first. If they exist. Group tasks. Uh, I never really understood what this was. Raise heavy armor skills, okay. Oh, Hilda doesn't want to. Okay, stable duty. Uh, Leone and Sylvain are gonna be horses. They're gonna grow up to become horses. Goals. Okay, okay, this is important. Every student can choose two things to focus on. Uh, Claude, yeah. Bow and authority sounds good to me. Lorenz, sure. Spear and magic, that sounds fine to me. Raphael, you're high out of your mind if you think I'm gonna let you actually use an ax when you are so much better with the fists. How about fists and authority? Or maybe heavy armor. I don't I don't really know what heavy armor does. Ignatz, you can be bow and sword. Yeah, I'm done. Lysithia, uh, I don't know if we want her to do authority and reason. I might want her to be a healer. How many healers do we have on this team? One? Is one healer enough? I'm a really big fan of half healers. I'm gonna... Let's have her learn a little bit of healing. Who told this bitch to learn sword? You're a healer. No sword training for you. That's just dumb. Hilda, brawling an axe. I'm down. She'll be a fister sister. Uh, Leone can do lance and bow. I'm done for that. Uh, Sylvain, lance and axe. I'd rather you just do lance and authority. Authority is like this general thing that is useful for everybody. So if they don't have a strong secondary I thing. Gotta I gotta ask you something. Oops. Makes sense to me. Oh, I just answered it correctly. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Pog the pace? I answered that question so fast. What a great teacher. I guess we'll do our best. Okay. Okay. Good enough, Professor? Good. It's Raphael's birthday. Ooh, that's my student. Yeah, $200 for you. All right. It's time for a side quest. I'm not a fan of these. I feel like they're really grindy, but they are pretty important. They give you they give you time to like hit your uh, level up thresholds or train your really weak students. Cause on the on the main levels, on the hard levels, like there's no time to like properly train. This is where you can like give all your weak units exp. Battalions are deployed in battle, so students can learn how to take command. Oh, that concept may be new to a loner mercenary like you. Hey, teach. You want me to explain the basics? No. All right. Oh, okay, we can run literally everyone. Uh, now we have to start assigning battalions. These are like these little backpacks. This is what authority matters for. They just give you like extra stats. Oh, but we don't have that many. Okay. I see. They already pre-assigned them. These battalions, they give you a little bit of extra stats. This one gives us one attack, plus 5% crit chance, plus 5 dodge chance, and one charisma. But it also comes with an ability. Uh, the ability is really useful. You can use it like once or twice per battle based on, um, based on, uh, what battalion it is. All right, let's go ahead and figure out our items. I want Hilda to have a fist. Yoink. Claude can have a bow. Lysithia, she actually needs a sword. She's not bad with the sword, but she definitely doesn't need a bow. Uh, can crits miss? No, but the way that crits are calculated, like the hit rate is factored in. Leather shield, increase weight by one, add one protection. Okay, we'll give that to our tank. We'll just give it to babe for now. Um. Wait, oh my God, when I recruited, Sylvain? He came with a thousand gold. He came with a bullion. All right, let's go to the store. Welcome. Hello, Jinx. Welcome. You're not yet unlocked the battalion guild. Uh, I want to just like buy training swords at the wazoo because training swords are so great. Let's buy four. Thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch. Training lances out the wazoo. Thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch. Javelins are great. Ranged weapon. Thanks a bunch. Uh, I also want to buy training gauntlets because training gauntlets are great. Thanks a, bunch. Thanks a bunch. Money? Wait, where's my money? Oh, fuck. Okay, wait, sell. Got any more of those convoys? I need to recruit more kids. If every kid comes with a thousand gold, I need to recruit more. Uh, okay, now I'm almost done. I just need to get some training bows. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch. Come back. Okay, training bows are so good early game because it looks like random units just hide from behind and do range damage. Even though you don't plan on making them learn how to use the bow, just holding onto it to like randomly deal one extra damage is really nice. 
Okay, now does anyone else need a sword? Uh, Marianne can hold a sword. Who else might use a sword? Claude might use a sword. Uh, Ignatz might use a sword. All right, sweet, let's do it. All right, second battle. Place your bets. Will there be any deaths in this level? Heck yeah or heck no. Uh, keep in mind, we're gonna be playing very fast because I find these levels really boring. So I'm not gonna like sit there and calculate everything. Stay focused. Let's just go right into it. Ready oh, whoa, what's this? Time. Let's get to it. Just clump Who, everyone up. Me? Just move Come everyone on, up as a unit. Who, me? Healers in the back, tanks in the front. Oh, nice. Take all the free hits we- What?! Ignatz, you're fired. Oh, Sylvain, you do be kinda weak. Don't miss. You're out of luck. Oh, Sylvain needs a uniform. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> hey, buddy, can I borrow that bow? Alright. Hey, buddy, can I borrow that bow? Hilda. Strength, yeah, Dex, yeah, HP, and luck? Let's fucking go. Wow, really? I can just walk right in and no one's gonna hit me? Okay. I know we don't care about runs. Oh, you know what's fun in suboptimal? Splitting up. Yeah. You could take every single fight one at a time, but honestly, that's really boring. Let's just send him right into it. Yeah, pff, seven damage. Let's just split up. That's way more exciting. All right, Ignatz. I'll give you one more chance. Okay, make me proud. I did it. I did. So such confidence. You lost to me? Are you playing this on an emulator? Nope. Okay, let's move uh, baby here. That way uh, Raphael won't take so much damage. Go ahead and heal Hilda. And nobody cares about Lorenz. Pause champ. Within? Wait, this is a lot of people. Wait a second. Oh, that's a lot. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, for 100%, it's time to use this thing. 
Oh, wait. We actually have a problem on our hands. If, um, if I miss this, the game, we might actually lose. Uh, this is because I... Ooh, yeah, this is because I, uh, went too ham. It's because I didn't take the fight slowly. This is cool. This is gonna attack the guy in front of me and the two people in front of him. In this little line. So as long as I don't miss, uh, we're fine. It's time. 70% chance. Okay, so it lowers their stats and they can't move. Okay, okay, winnable, winnable. We need to kill this guy. Show me what you're made of, Lorenz. Oh my god, can we do any more damage than that? Fuck, you're so weak. stats I'm scared is someone gonna die is someone gonna die because I was greedy let's see six damage six damage seven damage seven seven okay I think I think we survive okay I must protect Lysithia don't miss you underestimated me. okay this guy's stunned this guy's stunned I don't have to worry about them for this turn I can't send Hilda in like that. Okay, we can send Sylvain in to get this free kill. That one is expected. Oh shit, he's gonna die. Ah. Uh... No, if I do that, then Raphael's gonna die. Okay, just to heal. We can heal safely. You're a big help. So right now they're gonna attack Babe. Okay. Oh, this is this is totally fine. No one's gonna die. No one's gonna die. Calm down, guys. Nobody's gonna die. all sweaty. That is that. Babe is a machine. Dodge into crit? Oh, I thought it was gonna be a crit. As expected. It seems Dude, you've never experienced dopamine if you haven't seen a 1% crit to save your life. Oh, is that it? Okay, these are the last two. Okay. Uh, in that case, we don't need to heal. Let's just go right for the attack. Get free hits. I want to give the kill to Lysithia. Of course I won. All right, now who's deserving of this kill? Is it Sylvain, Hilda, Raphael, or me, smiley face? This is like a full level up. I don't care about equal e EXP distribution for all. I'm just gonna give it to all the people I like. Here you go, Hilda. Sorry, did I hurt you? I think. Yeah, I'm definitely tougher. Nice. She got two four stat level ups. Huh. Oh, thank you, Panda. All right, congratulations, believers. We, I mean, admittedly, that was a pretty easy fight, but zero deaths.
Okay. The story mission's coming up soon. And that's where, if anything, we're gonna have deaths. Woo! Is death permanent? Yep. And we will not restart either. There's like two fights where a death doesn't actually mean permadeath, but it's only for two levels. And one of them was the tutorial. Everywhere else, uh, like you're just fucked if uh, someone dies. All right, Raphael, do you have a triple three-star thing? No. All right, just learn the fists. One day the event log will be updated. Nothing happened. We just beat the level, like ever, everything went smoothly. Leone, you can learn the spear. Nope. When a character dies, they stop showing up in cutscenes. I wish. That would have been sick. They show up, but they're just like injured. Axes? Interesting. What? Bad? Wait, I've never seen a student do bad. Oh, you fucking suck. It's hard to sneak out when the professor is watching. I can't see. Them. Chat voted Golden Deer. Boom. An event. Uh, beat first two levels. Pog, no deaths yet. Dude, I can't wait until we fight the death knight. We got through that with that. That's literally like iconic as it is. That, that's probably where we're, we're going to like have a shit ton of deaths. Yeah, I've got this down. I guess I'm still growing. I can't wait for the death knight. I'm getting it. Yeah, death, why people happy at night. Along. Not as hard as I thought. Got it. Good to go. Oh, I have to do a seminar? Um, okay, so if I remember correctly, you choose someone and then like these people gain extra motivation. So if I choose Babe to teach sword and authority, these people will come. No, I don't want those. I don't want them to learn sword. These people could learn spear and authority. No, I don't want that. Bow and magic. Uh, this is probably the best one. Let's check the other ones. Sword and magic. Oh yeah, yeah it's definitely this one. This affects the most people and it's most relevant. Now I see the heart of it. I feel like I get it now. I kind of like that they let every single unit do every single thing. Do I want to buy flowers for Mercedes? Uh, she's the cute healer girl. Do we do we like her? Jad boats, yes. All right, flowers for you. Thank you so much. Dude, you know she's old as fuck. She's the oldest student hey, in the game. Glad you can make it. We've been waiting on you. I think she's forty-one. It seems the knights have our foes cornered. They are in Xanado, the Red Canyon. It's bandit time. That sounds like real night work. Dude, we're about Let's to go to the to basketball it. game. I'm itching to put my skills to the test as well. We have to win so Captain Gerald can see how much I've learned. This girl will not stop talking about our daddy. I thought Gerald wasn't coming with us. Either way, I'll give it everything I've got. Um, even if I go, it's not like I'd be of any use. That's enough of that. If we don't work together and give it our all, we are doomed to fail. You can be pretty intense sometimes, Lysithia. But I agree. <laughs> Her hair is floating. Best. If we fight half as well as we chatter, we'll be fine. Let's go! I love story missions. They're so exciting. And some of them are actually pretty hard or like have unexpected traps. So you may just randomly die. I still remember last time we did a hardcore run and uh, some people literally just fucking died out of nowhere, but it was quite epic. Wait, right, I need to change Sylvain's clothes. There, there was one level I remember where, uh, because we we're playing on the maddening, units came out in out of nowhere and just immediately killed like three of our, our people. It was kind of cool. It kind of reminded me of Sword Art Online. It's like watching anime. Yeah, you have no idea who's gonna die. Wait, what the hell? There are cats in this game? The cats have names? Oh, they're barking. Oh, I didn't change the battle attire. Okay, I'll do it next time. Oh, okay, now we can rewind. But in our hardcore run, we're never doing that. Uh, okay, so we get to choose one unit to not run. They make this so easy. You're telling me I get to run everybody except for one guy? Yeah, fuck you, Lawrence. Never taking that unit. God, what an easy decision. <laughs> Wait. Reclass? Oh, I don't think that's relevant yet. I don't know why I even bother saving, because we're not we're never restarting. Uh we could optimize it a little bit, but who cares? Alright, place your bets! Any deaths in this level, the first story mission. So this is the Red Canyon. Doesn't look red to me. Anyway, let's get things started, Teach. Looks like the thieves have been driven back. That's what we last heard, so no surprise there. The knights chased us all the way here? Chief, let's get out of here. There's no way we can win against them. We're literally kids. Shut your dumb mouth. Where would we go at this point? You can't be a thief if you fear death. Yes, you can. In fact, I think most thieves fear I hear there's death. a back road to the west. How about we split up and attack from there and from the front? We yes, may be able to split up, gang. Enemy by approaching from both sides. In any case, we need to cross the bridge first. 
A chest? Do I have someone who can open chests? Does anyone have the lockpick ability? Uh, no one has the lockpick ability. Okay, okay. This guy gives you a key. All right. Uh, yeah, as always, I think it's more fun if we just go right into it. Oh, shit. Hilda might die. Nine, nine, six. Yeah, she'll take 21 damage. She's fine. Let's get to it. I like Leonie's voice. You're a trooper, Hilda. You know that? I appreciate you. All right, now that you baited everyone in, my units can just go in for the slaughter. All right, Lysithia, you're up first. Take this free kill. Yoink. You were outmatched. Precious opportunity to test my own strength. Hmm. I want to go home. Shut the fuck up. Go in there and hit him four times. I put in some work. Don't expect much more than that. Oh, three stats, huh? Planning to just sit back and watch, but hey, I got one. Three stats. Should have trained better. See me in my office, Hilda. Look how Raphael does it. Oh. Huh. This is my first real. Okay. <laughs> maybe I maybe I can appreciate Hilda. Why are y'all in rags? We're in our basketball uniforms, dude. We're getting ready for the game. All right, in general, this game is pretty forgiving in terms of EXP and balance. When a unit is under leveled, they gain like a lot of EXP. So I, I'm not gonna like spend extra effort to make sure everybody's equally leveled. I think it takes a really long time to do that. It's definitely optimal, but it takes forever. So instead, Who, me? let's just keep sending Hilda into battle. What do you guys say? Who, me? Hey. Wait, is Claude gonna die? Six times two, six times two, six. Oh shit, he's gonna die. Wait, no, he's not gonna die. Boom! Stand behind Brom. How's the card game going along? It's fine. We're slowly making development. Six, six, and six, perfect. Okay, how can we kill everybody this turn? So first, we need to kill this guy to open up the path. Can Hilda one-shot him? No, she cannot. Taken by Oh, she's so strong. You're so strong, Lysithia! You're so fucking powerful! 20 damage! My efforts are paying off. Oh god, she has even more damage, but she's gonna be so squishy. Dude, I fear dude, I'm gonna slip up one time and Lysithia's just gonna die. Good to go. I'm not even kidding. You messed up one time, my city is just completely dead. Oh shit! Oh yeah, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I thought that Raphael would one-shot him, but I was wrong. Uh, but it's fine. She's not gonna die. Also, Leonie can probably finish her. I'll celebrate later. We stole this treasure. It's, it's all ours! There's, There's no way we're gonna, gonna give it up this person nights. This is our trick. Who's your most disliked unit? Probably Lorenz. Fuck that guy. Although, he does get kind of cool later on. I'll give you that. Lorenz does get kind of poggers later. You guys want to see something cool? Boom. Convoy. 
Yoink Owo notices Javelin. Right in the ball sack. I don't know why they make you attack the ball sack. But I think it's so funny. Every single Spearman always throws the Javelin directly at the opponent's ball sack. Okay, you're getting benched, Sylvain. I had to do it. Don't hate me, please. I had to hit you in the balls. Sorry. All right, gang. Let's split up. Let's split up and cover more ground. A lot of Fire Emblem levels can be solved by uh by just like sending everybody together all the time. But I think it's really boring. It's not only boring, it's also really slow. So I'm always I down to split this. up for fun. My favorite levels are the ones where you're forced to split up, where they put like a time pressure on you. They'll put like an objective on one side and an objective on the other, and then you have like five turns to get to both of them. That way you can't just take it slow. I really hate levels where you go slowly. Teacher, take the key. Let's put her here so that this guy can attack and we'll counter attack. Okay, so is anyone gonna die? The answer is probably if I don't do something this turn. Hilda. God, I fucking love Hilda. She's so strong. Hilda. Wow. I put. It all comes down to. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, she got hit, so she can't move this turn. I mean, why don't you just simply fuck him up? Wrath Strike. Be gone. Okay, how many units do we have to kill? We should kill two. <laughs> Easy clap. Hilda fucks mages up. Look at that. Look at how much damage it is. Fisters are just so good against mages because you almost always get the quadra hit them. And they have no armor. Take our free bow hit. Free bow hit. Oh wait, no, I can't do the free bow hit there. I have to do it here. If I do it the other way, then I can't heal her. Oh wait. Ignatz exists. Do I really want to give him the kill? <sighs> I don't really like him. Nah. Alright, they also get Tone Breaker later. More where that came from. Yeah, Ignatz is the if someone more- Ah! Uh, uh. Twice in a row?! Wait, I can't heal? Oh, I'm out of heals. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah, uh, you're fine. I have to remember that I'm out of heals though. Alright, like a good teacher, I will go loot while the students do all the work. A large bullion. Okay, we have to kill three people. So let's start with the obvious ones first. Uh, we'll probably have to do this. Five stats. Three. Okay. Marianne is out of healing, so I may as well just make her do some damage. Don't miss. If you miss, bad things are gonna happen. Okay. Whew. Was that helpful? Yes. Ah! My team is ending! Please forgive me, goddess. And save their Do you wanna eat food? I'm almost done! I am about eight minutes away from beating this level. Okay. If I don't kill these guys correctly, Ignatz is going to die, but I think he has to go in. I could use a break. Nope. No breaks. Oh man. Sorry, Hilda. No breaks for you. Oh, it's a crit? Let's fucking go! You don't even take damage! Uh, I'm all sweaty. You're really tough. Okay, can we kill this guy? 16 damage. What? Uh-oh. Okay, crazy idea. Crazy idea, crazy idea. Are you guys ready for this? 
Oh yeah, you guys are gonna be like, holy shit. Holy pog, what a play. Sylvain, walk up. Give Raphael your javelin, if you know what I mean. Oh wait, I don't even think he can use it. Oh, he can't use the javelin. I need to do some math really quick. 12 strength, six protection. Oh wait, I could just gambit. Oh, if I just gambit, we're fine. Oh man, the answer is so easy because Gambit immobilizes him. Oh wait, her life isn't even in danger. Okay, I'm gonna try my strat anyway. So here's my strat. Combat art, curved shot. Allow Claw to attack from three squares away. Minor Crested Regan, pew! Okay, and then Raphael, walk up. Yoink, give me that. And then attack again. You see, if we didn't have the gambit, that would have been a pog play. But we did have the gambit, so it didn't actually matter. Also, I think Lysithia was fine from the beginning. All right, we're out of heals, so... Ready and Not only are we out of heals, I refuse. I absolutely refuse to use uh, vulnerabilities. I need to save that shit. Save him for the final boss. Gotta hoard all those cheese wheels for when I fight the dragon. Yeah, it's just training for when she won't be fine in the future. I guarantee you, Lysithia is going to be in many life or death situations, because this girl literally gets one shot. Pog! Babe's getting good level ups. I'm gonna keep this babe girl in my class. Uh, can we kill him? The great thing about curve shot is that uh, it allows us to stack range attacks like this. It is unbelievable that the accuracy of an archer hitting from like 30 meters away is the same as like me hitting you with a sword. Are those really equal? I feel like one should be higher. Okay, uh, Houston, we're gonna have a problem if you miss, but just don't miss. I just worked harder. I just worked harder. I really like Lysithia's backstory. She's cool. Her backstory is like, uh, everyone just like assumes she's really talented and they hate her. But she just like works really, really hard because of um, uh, story reasons that you'll find out later. She she doesn't have much time left. Dude, Babe's gonna die. Be mindful. Should I have held back? Oh yeah, notice how like a lot of people on our team, they have like this little crest up here in the top left, and it's usually like some sort of effect. Some people just don't have a crest at all. There's like little passives. But then notice that once we get to Lysithia, she has two crests. And also she has white hair, it's kind of cool. We get to learn more about it later on in the story. Ooh, a javelin. You're not doing maddening? No, for a run like this, it's like literally impossible if you do maddening. We did it earlier, like two years ago. And what happened was uh, 20 hours into the run, the game just ended randomly because a guy from Fog of War walked up from eight squares away and then crit Dimitri and we just lost the game. It was really, really dumb. So we're gonna do it on hard where things are more calculatable. Uh, I think we're ready to start the fight. Let's have Sylvain tank a hit. Walk into the edge of range. Yeah, we're gonna compensate for that by playing really, really fast and recklessly. I guarantee you a couple students are gonna die soon just because of recklessness. But that's okay. Cause like, honestly, if, if Lorenz dies, like, yeah, no. Nothing of value was lost. Yeah! yeah. Da! This class sucks! These are the worst level ups ever. Come on, Leonie. Show them what a real level up should look like. How do you like that? Oh, she's not ready to level up. Dude, baby's going for the flank. Alright. Let's just step into range again. You know what really, really sucks? Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. I'm not kidding. The Joy-Cons are actually so bad. I'm, using, I'm playing on Joy-Cons right now, and half of the time, my right controller, not my left, my right controller 
Uh, it doesn't respond to the buttons. So if you see me like randomly sitting there for a while, it's because I'm pressing buttons and nothing's happening. Not only that, but my, my left Joy-Con randomly presses left every now and then for no reason. It randomly is like, you want it to go left? Okay. Yeah, if you want to like not have these issues, you have to buy the Pro Controller for $70. I want to train my Scythia. Baby becomes strong. I want her to be a glass cannon that can like one shot people from five squares away. Anyone other than Babe get a good level up. Come on, is anyone about to level up right now? Oh, Sylvain's about to level up. Sylvain, show him what a real level up's supposed to look like. After Ignatz takes this free hit. Yeah, show the class what a real level up looks like. Just give up. Oh. Wait, I swear he was on the verge of leveling up. Wait. Ready and willing. Why did the game advise me to split up and go for a flank? There's, there was literally nothing to flank. Like, the fight's over. <laughs> Babe is here. There's, there's nothing to flank. We're split pushing. She has Hull Breaker. Oh, wow. Claude. Wait, okay. Who's about to level up? Ah, Hilda's about to level up. Oh, wait, no. Hilda's level five, so she's not actually about to level up. Let's get a free hit in. Have you played other Fire Emblem games before this one? Yep. I really like Awakening and Conquest. How nice of this guy to... Wait. Wait! He doesn't move and he only has an Iron Axe? Why sit there? Come on, baby! Take this bow! Sending these brats instead of the knights means they... Yeah! yeah! Oh, baby, we're gonna farm EXP for days! In, uh, in Fire Emblem Conquest, there was this really, really weird thing you could do. And, like, you kind of had to do it. Especially in Awakening, uh, where the enemy's weapon had durability. So what you could do is you could send in a really tanky unit and just tank literally 45 hits until the weapon broke. And then after the weapon broke, you could let all the weaklings come in and farm EXP. It was, it was really dumb. Like, it took hours. Wow, what? I missed the 90%. Oh, I almost let him die. Hilda! Nice! Hilda's gonna survive. Okay, so would it really be fun if we just beat the level safely? I feel like we should risk somebody's life, you know what I mean? Chat boats, no. You don't want to risk somebody's life? Wait, oh my god, he heals 10 health every round. You could literally farm to max level off this guy. You could literally just like infinitely let him heal. I wanna go home. Nah, Hilda. Oh, hello, Natharion HD. This guy has dodged an unbelievable amount of like 90% hits. All right, Hilda, it's time to gamble your life. If you miss either of these 91% hits, you die. The game wouldn't be exciting if we just won carefully every single time. Come on, that's only there's only like an 18% chance that she dies. Where's that song? Ah, it's this one. Yeah, 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 the one where they say stay alive. And then we play it and then we see what happens. And if she deserves to live, she won't miss. Yes, if she deserves to live, if she's truly a worthy member of our team, she won't miss. If she does, we'll replace her. All right, let's wait for the chorus. What's it like 10 seconds? All right, pause champ. Oh, here comes the fat level up. Oh. oh dear, maybe I was too lazy. She should have fucking died. Those thieves ran out of luck when they entered this canyon. They never had a chance. 
Your leadership was amazing, Teach. Let's leave the rest of this work to the Knights. Dude, the amount of two and three stat level ups I've gotten is insane. There's actually a very, very small chance that you can get a zero stat level up, and it, it is so sad. I didn't even know that the characters had voice lines for a zero stat level up. It was the song. I remember this being a peaceful place. Oh, so there's like that. Hmm. I, wonder why it is I heard that you can this. marry this girl, which is really weird because she's literally inside of you. I don't know how that works. Each time I speak, it scares you so. I marry the girl inside of you? I'm not scared. Do you think you can lie to me? Well, anyhow, I am quite fascinated by this place. As far as I can tell, this is your first time here. It feels familiar. How very odd. I wonder if somehow my memories have... Hmm. I must admit I am unsure. Beyond the name and the strange feeling of familiarity... Write this down. Write this down. I can't seem to remember anything about this place. It's quite fun to try to piece together what's going on. And yet, a great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow. Pain and love. And all things in between. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what took place. Teach, what are you doing here? We should get back to the academy. Sorry, I was talking to the lowly girl inside of me. It is time to depart. But know that time reveals all things. One day I will remember that which I have lost. Oh, by the way, it seems you've earned my gratitude. The thieves who came here are no more. They're the same I'm choice! Sure myself, yet... I am grateful all the same. In any case, you must become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. Oh, you think you're standing strong? <laughs> of course you are. It was a jest. Box Box, have you decided who you're gonna marry this run? No, because I don't know who's gonna be alive. I don't know if we're gonna be alive at the point where you can marry somebody. Hey, Teach. On the way back, you seemed transfixed by the canyon. Did something happen there? Ooh, do we want to tell him? Yeah, let's tell Claude. It seemed familiar to you? Huh. Can't say the same. Oh, we told- Oh. I didn't realize we were going to tell him- Okay, we told him that the canyon seemed familiar. I thought we were going to tell him that there's a lowly girl inside of us. Maybe it's a memory from when you were a child. Anyway, if you can't remember, I guess there isn't really much more to be said. Although, I'll admit, there is something about that canyon that has me captivated as well. Really quick, before we move on. Have you guys ever taken a picture with a hot girl, but to be respectful to her, you like, you put your arm like, over their shoulder? Or like, kind of like, around their waist, but not really touching? Uh, people do that to me sometimes, when they like, don't feel comfortable touching me, but they want to like, take a photo. Claude is actually doing that to himself right now. He's hover-handing himself. How did Xanado come to be called the Red Canyon? He wants to be respectful. There was actually red. How did the Red Canyon become called the Red so Canyon? So have safely disposed of those bandits. But why did they target the students to begin with? We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and I have to relieve my students? students? Yep, of course. Those were literally the same choices. I, by the way, how was your time in Xanadu? Legend has it in ancient times, a goddess alighted upon this world. And this girl is voiced by Irelia, by the way. For a goddess from the heavens, Xanadu could Can only have been a temporary haven. A goddess? Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation oh, hello, from the goddess. A she almost had a lot of pain. To help guide the lost. The goddess is always watching over Fodlin from her. There's a lot of lead characters in this game. There's like Yumi, However, in Irelia, time, Katarina. The goddess graced this world with her presence. Ah, uh, Yasuo, I'm pretty sure. To the people here. She is the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul.
Oh, and did you know us? Babe has the same voice actress as Sona. I see. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Seros. Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. Oh, Petra is we Lulu. Wow. We shall continue our discussion when next we meet. I can kind of see it. A goddess. I How long are these cutscenes? I gotta go to dinner. But then, I have no memory at all. Oh, how bothersome. Perhaps Xanado was my home back. If so, what does that make me now? A ghost? Ghost? That must be it. Are you simple? Uh oh. That's impossible. I don't think she liked that. I am, of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on. No, that's not it. Does Babe speak? No, I was making a bad joke about how Sona's a mute, and so are you. All right, that's it for now. I have to go. Yeah, I hope you had fun. I look forward to streaming this until everybody dies. I don't expect to win, but I think it's fun to see how far we can get into the storyline before everybody gets slaughtered. I can imagine a lot of situations where we were forced to make sacrifices, and then as our numbers dwindle down, we're slowly forced to go in, like, in kind of Lord of the Rings style, where there's, like, five people left against, like, an, an endless onslaught of people, and you watch as everybody dies one by one, and all our favorite characters get slaughtered. Our, 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 our last two characters absorb all the EXP, get really strong, but then they get whittled down by a bunch of two and three damage hits, and then eventually they fall. Isn't that beautiful? I look forward to that. Oh, it's, it's gonna be so much fun. It would actually be very boring if we won. If we won barely, that's pog. If we won easily, that's not interesting. I hope it comes down to that. I hope there's gonna be some situation where I have to choose which of my two students to save. Uh, just imagine. Imagine Hilda's, like, about to die, and... And Bernadette is about to die, right? And you can only save one, right? Who does Claude go to save? Those are those are the most fun decisions of the game. Holy shit. I fucking love death. All right. I'm gonna send you guys over to someone. Uh, Annie wants me to get ready for dinner. All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Have a great night.